In this video, I want to introduce how you can work with texts in uh, Python for um, AutoCAD. We will use the module PyAutoCAD. This is a module I'll also introduced in other videos. And if you click the link in the video description, it will take you to the documentation of um, AutoCAD and PyAutoCAD in general, and also more specifically the coding example that I'm going to go through in this video. So as the title says, I want to show how you can work with text in AutoCAD by using PyAutoCAD, a module in, in Python that can be used for scripting AutoCAD workflows and thus can be used for AutoCAD optimization. As always, the first thing I do is I import the relevant classes and I call the AutoCAD constructor, creating an empty uh, template in AutoCAD. And then I use uh, the uh, currently open AutoCAD template and its model to call the addText method. This method takes um, three parameters. The first one being the text string that we want to add. The second parameter is the insertion point in the AutoCAD template. And the third parameter is the height of the text. So I'm going to write hello. Um, I'm going to insert it at the point with the coordinates x75 and y50. And then I'm going to have a text height of 25. When I execute this line of code, um, I will um, have result uh, shown here in, in the AutoCAD drawing. Now I stored this object representing this text in, in a reference handler and I can use that one to access various parameters. So an object um, type text has a lot of um, uh, properties that we can access and we can access those using PyAutoCAD. For example, we can see the current uh, text string stored in this text, but we can also see the style name we can see the alignment, the text alignment points, the height, the rotation, the scale factor, and whether the text is upside down. So these are some examples of property information or property values that you can extract, and you can also manipulate them. So let's, for example, change the text string property for this object, uh, for this text object. Let's change the text string value from hello to high. Let's change the height. Let's change the rotation, and let's set it to be upside down. Now that will be uh, the result here. So as you can see in a, in a Python script using PyAutoCAD, we can um, adjust these um, these uh, property values, and thus we can manipulate text based on these property values for, for that object. We can also work with multi-line texts in, uh, in, Py, in AutoCAD with PyAutoCAD. Um, the method has the name add m text, so add multi-line text. And the parameter values are one, the insertion point, which is again an A point object. Um, the second parameter this time is the width. And um, third, we have the text string value. If we want to change the height of the text, we have then to call um, the property value height and adjust it. So this is what I'm doing here. I'm using this um, method to create the multi-line text, and then I'm manipulating the height and this will be the, the final object. As you can see, the height of the text is the same as in this example. The first one we had that also had a height of 25, but we have here a width of 100, and that results in the text being split over three lines. And that concludes this, this, uh, that concludes this simple example on um, how you can work with text in, in AutoCAD using Python and the PyAutoCAD module. And if you're interested in this coding example, you can click the link in the video description. And there's also another link in the video description taking you to a more general AutoCAD and PyAutoCAD documentation.